Why don't you do your job for a change as president? Stop lying. Stop running a corrupt administration. Make no mistake about it, the race for the Oval Office has gotten very intense. Not just attacks on policy, but personal ones as well. Crazy Bernie's going to go crazy. So what are Catholics to do? It's easy to just tune it out, forget about it, go to mass, go home, ignore the politics and issues. But Father Patrick Winslow, the second in command of the Diocese of Charlotte, says Catholics need to be engaged. Uh, we have a civil duty and responsibility. Uh, we need to vote. We need to engage the political process. But at the same time, we have to understand that uh, we're part of a kingdom of God and not a kingdom of man. Father Winslow says, just don't get too wrapped up in it. I think it's really important to put that in balance. I think people these days get pulled too much into the political sphere. They think that everything rides on political outcomes. The, the angry political discourse can turn anyone off, and there are many more months of it to go. Father's advice, don't think about it day and night. And that type of uh, instability, that, that type of wrapping one's heart around political consequences and outcomes is, is not really uh, the proper context of a Christian faith and a Christian life. But if you're looking for Father to recommend a candidate, that won't happen. Still, the faithful, he says, need to keep in mind the doctrine of the Catholic Church, what it stands for, what it values. You can't bifurcate your life in such a way that you keep the political realm out of your faith. That's like saying keep the church out of society, keep faith out of society. That, that's just not tenable.